Right, this one <clears throat> is a request from Stegarv66, I believe it's called. Uh, this is um, 21 up. My guess, it's another guess, I seem to be doing a lot of guessing today, that this is Belfruit's first black box release. Or if it's not, it's Climber, or they was released at the same time. I have a Climber. I the wrong button, I suppose. Anyway, that's still a progress, a project, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but this this machine is immaculate, mint, whatever you want to call it. But I'm not saying it's the most exciting game either, unfortunately. But it takes one credit at a time. As wiper reels before so you can hear them if you listen to the reels go around so they still have the wipers of the older reels so this is this one is before firecracker way before firecracker it's a no nudge machine this is the the 5p one pound version a good friend of mine has the 10p, 10p two pound version, which ironically enough is actually a conversion of the 5p version. So, I guess from from that information, this is probably the only original 21 up. Oh, well, at the moment, uh, again, you can once you hold. Uh, no attract mode. It plays very much like an electrical mechanical. The only time you know it's not an electrical mechanical is when you get a win or, or number six, because obviously the sounds. Uh, it's worth holding the bell for it, because it's a 27 way jackpot. There you go. Doesn't hold, but there you go. Um, I don't know whether they've done it to stock conversions, bootleg conversions, but this one has it. It, has, it pays out two tokens in one pulse. The sort of thing that the token sits in the the, to, uh, the bottom of the tube. It holds two tokens at one time, so it only pulses five times to pay the jackpot. Just a useless point and it has paper reel bands that sort of but they're in good condition on this machine so that's all good so it's only a one coin entry so it's basically a black box emulating electrical mechanical <laughs> Right, the first number is always six, the second number is always seven, it's the third number you can gamble on. On a five, I will you can twist or stick to the fourth reel. Let's we'll go for a twist, over for six, seven. I lost. So seven, that's twenty. The bank gets twenty and wins. So they're the player. That's the bank. For those of you who don't know this game, it does explain it somewhere. Oh, there it does. There you go. <coughs> All the sevens on the middle reel is full of just sevens, and there's two sixes on the first reel, which you need to start the game. There's a gamble feature. Double or nothing. The red is when the token tube is low. It's not a button. Apparently, if you press them at the same time, it'll either go up or you collect your money. But there you go. And bust. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few people do. There's a trick. Yeah, we we'll get a hold. So. Like that. 4 10 
batteries. The interesting thing about this machine is it has two separate buzzers, two separate noise buzzers. One for the gamble and one for the pontoon. So it has two separate noise sources, I guess. But unfortunately, you don't get no sounds when you hold or when you press start or nothing. And no real drop sounds, obviously. My guess is if you didn't know, you would think this was an electrical mechanical. And it's in the short cabinet. I mean, the other it's next door to uh, Triumph. You can see the difference in height. And this has still got the curly bit, like your super nudge cameras, your tele. It's basically the tele cabinet, I would say. <coughs> it does a lot of holding as well. And this machine is still absolutely original 50p cash and a pound in tokens. <laughs> Number eight is the one you want when you get the pontoon game. So your free melons are 50p, which automatically pay out. There's no gamble on them, but on all the others, there's a gamble. And obviously, your pound jackpot in tokens. I know a lot of uh, 50p stroke pound token machines are converted just by pulling the wires over onto the other solenoid. But if you did that with this, you'd only get 50p because it only pulses five times on the token payout. So I guess it was to stop that. I always forget that you have to keep feeding the coins. But it's saying that's in good condition. Pick this up from a pick this up from way down south somewhere. There we go. So that lights up. Well it comes on. I'm gonna twist that because four's the lowest number. Yeah, no chance if you come up with a four that's 17 that's on 18 is there there you go again right i will stick and hopefully you get the 50p unless i get the 21 there's the first 10p 20p i'm going to that 30p Last one. Last time, last time. We got forty p. <clears throat> this is at the time when they still have pineapples. And the eagle eye to you might have thought, oh look, it's not really good around there. That is actually the artwork. That is not artwork that's fell off because it's on that them cards as well. It makes it look like the artwork's a bit tatty. 
if I was going to criticise it, I'd say it's lost a bit of its red compared to this. I think some of the red has bleached. Unfortunately, no jackpot tune, but can't have everything. And it never holds after a jackpot. If this holds, John, I'll go. <laughs> no, it never holds after a jackpot, apparently. I mean, interestingly, these only use one ROM. But. I guess it's a machine that sort of grows on you as you play, to be honest. I'm quite enjoying it. I wouldn't say it was the most exciting game. But as I'm sat here sort of doing this video, I can feel myself just carrying on putting my mind in and just keep playing it. Anyway. Well, there you go. Oh, leave that at that. On that folks, uh, it was a request, so you've had a good look at it, that's the uh, Bell Fruits uh, 21 up, uh, black box technology, right, see you in a bit.